we pretty much just sum this up about the whole Rose thing. Fuck that. His name is Denzel. Nobody call him fucking Rose. This little strong, sharp chin, pencil nose ass, hard to breathe ass bitch. Till he got on this damn show, that's when everybody want to call him that. Stop it. Denzel is only 19 years old. He was born in 1998. So, Hazel, stop it, bitch. You're a pedophile. Sit your ass down. I don't, I shouldn't even be addressing your ass. You on the AARP fucking membership. I shouldn't even be arguing with you. I should send my fucking grandfather to correct you or my grandmother. That's what I need to be doing. But I'm going to check your ass. But anybody that really know Denzel, like late 2012, early 2013, he was trying to be with Brick Squad. Brick Squad was hella deep in the DMV. Oh, you know, we met or whatever. This is before the fame and all of this. And yeah, we messed around, but it was nothing more than that. And as we got older, he wanted it to be more. So, and when I say like mess around, I don't mean nothing sexual, but like, yeah, you know, kicking it, having fun and shit like that. The nigga is gay, okay? Pretty much, he been hopping around from group to group. He been trying to get in death row at first. Then he tried to be with Brick Squad. Then he tried to be with Sean Kingston, Mother, and all of them. Then he was calling Lil Brandy from fucking Loving Hip Hop Hollywood in the beginning. The one of saying that she was Whitney Houston, God daughter. They was calling each other cousins at a point in time. Like, stop it. Stop it. I knew this man when he was young, in and out of jail for stupid shit, stealing cars, drug possessions, little dumb shit. Like, bitch, I've been there. Bitch, he always wasn't in L.A., bitch. He loves to go to the DMV, more so Baltimore and all of that. Like, stop it, sis. Like, be real. Speak the truth. Like, and Hazel came in the picture because when Denzel originally met the fucking Lake Sea Monster of L.A., she was supposed to just be his manager to help him progress in his career. Because by then, he'd been hopping around from group to group trying to get somebody to fuck with his music for real, for real. He'd been in the music game for a long time, but nobody was really fucking with him. Hazel was supposed to, I guess, progress his career. I don't even know how he thought she was going to do that when her own shit don't even get spent on the radio. The only thing she's known for is to be on Love and Hip Hop begging for a nigga to love her. And knowing these niggas don't love her. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere... They in a public relationship in 2016. They started posting shit like they was in a relationship, but knew each other for a minute already. So this bitch went from your manager to your cover up, or whatever you want to say you bisexual. I don't know what 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 y'all calling it nowadays, but we gonna call this glitter.